In the following video, I will show you how to add parameters to a mapping, how within the mapping to review the status of the mapping configuration tasks that use the mapping, and then finally, how to deploy your mapping changes to the mapping configuration tasks that use the mapping. Okay, now I will show you how to add parameters to a mapping. So I'm going to start by making a copy of a mapping I created previously. And I'll edit that mapping and I'll rename it. So first I'm going to add parameters to the values in each of my filters. So that would give the user creating mapping configuration tasks from this mapping the, a little more flexibility in how they want to define their high and low value amounts in the filters. So I'm going to go to the filter tab for my first filter and I'm going to click on the value and create a new parameter. And I'll name this high value filter. I'll set the display label to amount is greater than or equal to and we can add a description, a hover over description and we can even add a default value if we want and I'll do the same for my low value filter. I'll set a default value again and click OK. And if I expose my parameters panel here, I can see the two parameters and where they are located with the description. And I can delete the parameters from here. Um, I can add a new parameter, but I can't actually edit a parameter once it's been created. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And now I'm going to create a new mapping configuration task. And now you can see I get an extra step in my wizard. And you can see the high and low value filters here. And with my hover over description. And I can save and run that if I want, but I'll just save and close. Okay, now let's go back and further parameterize that mapping. So I'm going to go back to mapping. I'll edit that mapping. And I'm going to go back into my filters and I'm actually going to delete my filter and completely parameterize the target one filter. So it no longer is going to be tied to the amount field um, in the opportunity. So I'm going to completely parameterize the filter and click new parameter. And I'll set my display, display label to something sort of vague. And I'll do the same for my target 2 filter as well. I'm going to save and continue. Now 
one thing I want to point out is up in the upper right corner of the mapping uh, designer, I can see that I have one dependent task uh, attached to this mapping that's using this mapping. And I could see that the task is currently out of date because I made those changes. So now what I could do is save and deploy this mapping to the mapping configuration tasks, or I can save my updates as a new mapping. So I'm going to go ahead and save and deploy and it's going to tell me which mapping configuration tasks are using this mapping. And I can keep those tasks or delete those tasks. I'll go ahead and keep them. And now I can see that in my list of, of mappings that uh, both of these two mappings have tasks tied to them. And my instructor multi-target params mapping has parameters as well. So now if I click on that number, I can actually go over to that mapping and edit. So now under the other parameters uh, step of the wizard, I can add a custom filter for target one. Note that you can use advanced filters here as well. I'm just using the simple for this demo. And I can validate and I can save and run my task. So you can parameterize other things in the mapping, just about anything in the mapping actually. The target, the uh, field mappings, expression, etc.